Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing as a certain nation here. So, like at the start of every campaign, let us go through some game rules where nothing is different. Everything is going to be random. Awesome. And let us begin with non-historical AI focuses off. So, what mods am I using? Player of the Peace Conferences, Colored Buttons, Colored Events... State Tracer Tool Mod, of course, Old World Blues, as well as the mod compilation uh, for Old World Blues. Not Sweet Home California, since NCR is here, but the mod compilation, which gives us the special Arroyo Focus Tree, which I've already looked at. It looks very, very fun. So we have a core population of about 30,000 people. Not bad. Kind of small, but not bad. We have two divisions starting off here. Veterans with nothing but guns. Hmm, I love guns. But let's start our journey. The trials and tribulations of the Chosen One's journey through the wasteland to find the Gek left them irrevocably changed. Oh, I bet it did. And luckily we have four research slots and we are civilized. Civilized folk under the Chosen One. Cool. Oh, we actually have some stuff here done. Cool, we have some dedicated equipment, some clay working, some adobe housing. Oh, we have some of this stuff done as well. That's actually really good. So we'll start off with organized agriculture as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with work as needed. Land doctrine. Ooh, maybe we want we want to use robots. A robot campaign sounds kind of fun. Sounds kind of fun. Uh, we we'll probably grab some of that too. That'll be important for later. And uh, it doesn't really matter. Just do that. That's cool. Or we got guns. We want basic weaponry. We have literally a single military factory. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Can we make any ships? We have a ship. All we have is a single ship. Led by... Melvin Beatty. Very good. And before we forget... Yep, it's already on there. That's great. For now... Actually, that's not bad. Uh, destroyer, longboat, or canoes? Canoes don't cut it for me. This doesn't cut it for me. Longboats, let me double check. Because I never remember naval stuff here in Old World Blues. Schooner, longboats. Canoes, cool. Um, for now, you know what? Just make some convoys. Cheap and easy. And, uh, before we let time go on, because we really need to decide. Robots or infantry? Or, maybe, power armor. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But let's let time go on as we are going to just make some... Settlement guards to start off with. We might make use robots later. Maybe we'll use robots later. I have no idea. Uh, what do you think? What do you think is better? Robots or just regular infantry for our journey? So, the trials and tribulations of the Chosen One's journey through the wasteland to find the Gek left them irrevocably changed, which was exactly in the description. So, we get to choose a special stat to put a point into. Strength for more attack. Perception for more recon. That's actually not bad. 20%. Endurance for more division organization. Charisma for... That's a lot of that's a lot of political power. Hello there, uh, intelligence, more research speed, which is kind of yeah, that's not that's not great. Agility's not bad. Luck looks like a lot of fun. I like the attack. I like the organization. I like the recon, but point five. Oh, I want to be so charismatic. It that it, it hurts me. I want to be that so badly. But we have a new home with Gek in hand and the remnants of a royal tribals. And Vault 13 had to begin the process of building their new home together. Together we shall build a new home. Look at that. Our national spirit. How much did we get already? Oh, almost two a day. God dang. Two a day? Are you kidding me? That's that's overpowered already. If I don't even do a focus, we get three a day. Jesus. So basically the same description. Focus the Gek on producing clean water, which is actually a pretty good thing right now resource-wise. We're making no electricity, which we might need for robots. If we choose robots, we get water. Or we get monthly population and manpower. Or focus the Gek on creating a paradise. Before we make any decision, resistance, terrain, supplies, infrastructure. Uh, resistance, terrain, supply. Where is resources? Let's go here. My bad. Let's see. So if we take out the apostles, actually, you know what? Let's look, okay. Let's take a look, look at our focuses. So eventually, we come down here to the climate question. We can puppet a roy. Or no, the the apostles become our puppet eventually, or we could just, you know, go to war with them. We could do the same thing to the Myrlurk tribe, which we need just a huge army to do this, or just go to war with them. We do the Maw. The chosen one approaches Bellingham. Take the Maw. 
So, ooh, gains core. I like that. So the apostles. The apostles, what do you have? You get, if we can take out the apostles, we'll get enough water. We can always build electricity or generators. Uh, I know this is so good to take. I don't really want to do this one. I oh, that monthly population. Oh god, I want to make so many babies. Uh, food. Uh, I'm sorry, I gotta go that way. So priorities. After using the Gek, the tribals and former vault dwellers worked on building a better Arroyo, but now without arguments between the vastly different people. Yeah, with two political power a day. Uh, this is. Whoa, that's a lot here. Vault Tech calling. Awesome. This is not too bad, and we're gonna need it. So. Arguments occasionally break out between the two groups that make up Arroyo after the Battle of Devaro. It's up to the Chosen One to mediate these, favoring one group or the other will influence our future. Oh, Chosen One. Very good, very good. Popularity, stability, war support. The Vault Dwellers have expertise. That's okay. Research speed. We have to compromise. We get more political power and stability. I like that 10% stability. We always still have value for even more population. The Chosen One will balance their choices. Population, stability, and more research speed. Oh man, but babies. I wonder if we can max this out. A royal waste on expertise. It's probably not worth doing actually at all. But let's have fun with it anyways. So, a royal and the world. With rebuilding underway, the chosen one had to decide what the direction for the people and their homeland would be. Plus 50% monthly population. Now, obviously, it's not very good right now. But over time, as we take other people out, it will be. So, what do we do? Inward Arroyo, which would get more max factories in the state, division attack, and defense on core territory, generate world attention limit, and we can build a lot of civilian factories quickly. Our northern border with Expansionist Arroyo, which helps recruitable population factor, factory output, training time, just before war goals time goes down by 25%, and faster military and dockyard factory construction speed, or more population, improved relations cost. Oh, I want to do this one, maintaining good relations with everyone. I want that population. I love making babies, like I said, but... Expansionist Royal is probably the best thing for us. So let's do that. And now we get the option to do whatever we want. We can do some diplomacy, which would be very cool. Brotherhood of Steel diplomacy. We get power armor that early on? Cool. NCR diplomacy. Cool. Northern Defense Pact. The Klamath Question. And Industrial Arroyo. Arroyo's armies. Oh, we can choose power armor versus elite special forces. Improved power armor tactics for more power, more power armor breakthrough. Uses less supply, unfortunately, or was red. That's not bad. Uh, power armor, chosen army. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you can get Enclave power armor, I mean... <clears throat> that's, good, that's some good stuff, man. Before we make a decision, we want to make as much infantry equipment as possible. We need military factories, no matter what type of division we want to make. Klamath question. We need a big, a huge army. An industrial arroyo. Can we get free factories? That would actually probably be good to do first. But let's do arroyo's doctrines or arroyo's armies. Arroyo's current forces have so far been set up without any central doctrine. It's time for the elder to choose a path for our armed forces. Oh boy. Oh god. Now I have to choose now. Oh no. Maybe we should not just click on that focus. Followers of the apocalypse. Whatever. Who cares about them? Oh, actually, you know what? You guys are here. Uh, John Cassidy, yep. Intelligent. No, no. Select. I'll go with John Cassidy. Why not? Uh, old Fallout, guys. Of course, of course, led by the Chosen One. Of course. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, look. Look at all that naval XP. That's really nice, actually. I hope the decisions I take will not hurt me in the long run. Which they shouldn't, but, you know, you never know. Oh, we can't make that. Oh, the ships are repairing. That makes sense. All right, organized agriculture. Thank you very much. First focus done. Seed selection. Four people a month. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, we got some more population. We are a settlement protection. Army XP would be very good. I'm not really sure which path I should take, though, for land auction still. I really don't know. It depends on what we choose. Let's see. Oh, wow. Who do we have here? Oh, that's interesting. Popular figurehead. I like that. We get more war spark and stability. This is pretty good. More construction speed. That's not bad. I am going to choose Vic. I want to choose Vic really badly. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this. I don't know which line doctrine we're choosing yet, so. But at least get us some um, army XP right now. So if we have a big enough army, we can just smack down the apostles, which will be a very good thing to do. Smackdown just puppet them. I could go to war with them, but 
Uh, I don't think we're really ready in any position really to go to war. So, yeah. Hmm. Now, what decision do we get with the Royals' armies? Like, power armor? I'm really interested to see what this is. I've never played this before, Use it playing a Royal. But they have a very cool focus tree. Very, very cool. But you get Mutant Organ, you get Claims, and an Annex Royal gets a Troll Warren, Yakima Elder, Liberate Washington, Dream of Cascadia. All of Cascadia will be seen as our core land. So, Doctrine. Our people's lives are important. Each of our soldiers must be worth 10 enemies. Special Forces Multiplier, the first chosen. Or, the best way to protect ourselves is to have as many people to be armed as possible. Oh my god, step up to serve the Elder. The chosen one? Low battle. ARR spec. I, I, I like this. The best way, but we get more manpower. Immediately, non core manpower. Oh. Oh my goodness. I, I, I gotta go for the manpower for right now. I don't know. I, I'm out. I like. I'd go either way. I would just go either way, man. Oh, we could do that. Scavenge power armor. We could already make power armor, but we don't really have the industry for anything. So, an industrial royal. The members of Vault 13 who join their new family in a royal can lend their technical expertise to manufacturing now that the city is fully established. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. What do we have here? Oh yeah, we have the. Uh, eh, you might as well escort him. That's fine. We get some monies. That's very nice. We're getting some army XP, which will be great. We definitely, definitely need more infantry equipment, though. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Can we get some more output, please? Oh, we already are. Can we get it faster, please? <laughs> get some more energy. And we only get six right now, which just kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, what do we want? Oh, we probably want to do this. Oh, we can't. We need more war support. Hmm. Oh, what can we? Oh, dogs. Ooh, cyber dogs. A division attack. Oh, this could be so overpowered. Holy cow. Oh my oh my god, this this looks awesome. This looks really awesome. Albino Deathclaw. Dog meat. I love dog meat. Construction speed. Monthly population. Oh, there's so much more here. I love it. Let's see. Anything down here? What do we have for this? Resistance target, that's okay. Really? I think the construction speed might help us out a little bit first. Just build, build, build. It, even though it really doesn't make sense since we only have two factories here. Hmm. Good, we'll do that. Three guns a week. That's... That's basically nothing. What is this? Shelled warriors, that's cool. Yakuma Nation was annexed. Wounds from Bone Picker War, good. Apostles of Ready Man. We actually have a kind of a positive... Uh, relationship with them. It's not bad. A little bit, we have a little bit more manpower than them, which is good. They have oh, way more divisions than us. I'm not sure if we can really go to war in this episode, just because we're looking not super strong right now. Might as well do that, too. Uh, do some planes, too. Yeah, we're looking pretty darn weak. We're surrounded by people with just bigger armies. Which I don't really like. I really don't like. But, we'll fix that up soon enough. We will. And, you know what? Water. That's worth it. That's worth it. You know what? We get almost two political power a day. To the point where I don't feel bad clicking on this stuff. Because that'll help us out. We need to get every advantage we possibly can get right now. Might as well do that. Why not? Ah, an industrial arroyo. And we're going to go with basic weaponsmiths to get more factories. So, we've mainly been scavenging weapons up until now with limited production. The Elder has decided... To start training technicians in making weapons. Actually, let me see this. So we get on this path. Reform Northern Tribes. We need an army ratio of 150%. Is that just... That means, like, divisions? Division-wise? Or, like, in terms of entire battalions? I'm going to say it's battalions. So it'd probably be good to make these guys even bigger eventually. But we'll see what happens. Uh, make sure you're on high. Even though it really doesn't matter right now. Since they're all our cores. Good, good, good. Look at all these vaults we're going to eventually get. This might be the campaign where I do a full Wasteland Conquest, because it looks like we'll be, we could do extremely well. Actually, before they die, do you have a focus tree? The Lost. No, they really don't kind of have a focus tree. I'd consider playing them, but they don't have a focus tree, so cool. Very nice. Ah, oh, basic weaponsmiths. Thank God. Woo! Metal Foundries. 
or organized gunsmiths. Now that we have some people manufacturing weapons, we can set them up for future expansion by organizing them into a company. Yes! Still only have two here, and that's fine with me. Iron Alliance, Clear War, and Wither Dogs. We're making a lot of guns, which I might eventually go for robots, too. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I, I really have no idea. What do you think is better for the Chosen Ones people? Gliders. I love gliders. Mm. Scrap motorcycles. Laser weaponry versus common weaponry. Ooh, I don't remember. Did he? Which one did he use? Regardless, division training time would help out, too. Cool. we got enough political power now. We definitely need more war support. Begin scavenging. I never do that anymore. Baller's technology? You don't do that. Might as well. God, I'd love to come over here and do this, but... Ugh. Economic advisors. Research speed. Hmm. Ghoul doctor. Organized gunsmiths. Expand weapon production. Thanks to the Elder, we now have a productive center of gunsmiths. So now we can expand this production to include all types of weapons and more guns in general. I love guns. I'm such an American. Let's see. Infrastructure. Civilian factories. That could be pretty good. Division organization. Experience soldiers lost. Oh, but there's so many options. This is almost, almost too many options for me, to be honest here. Uh, oh, you get more war support right here. That's 10% more war support. We could use 10% more, and we need this eventually, so we might as well choose Randolph Chaplin. Nice! Now, oh, we can actually do this next. Great, great. And we don't get penalized for trying to build factories. We actually get a bonus to building military factories, which will be very awesome. We shall step up to serve the master. The chosen one. Uh, we make planes eventually, maybe. Gotta make more convoys. We got a load of our naval XP. If that's a case. I could expand these guys already, but I'm gonna wait on that. If I'm gonna use light robots, we might as well make them 20 combat width. Or not. Never mind. We don't have enough army XP. We have enough naval XP. Expand weapons production. Research labs. Production. Architects. Ooh, industry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love industry. Actually, how big of a board do I have with Klamath? We have two divisions. I need quite a few guys to do this. The Klamath question. Klamath is our neighbor. To the east, in the first place, the Elder visited on their travels. They are a small faction in the wasteland, but like-minded, and we should decide how we want to deal with them. This sounds like this could be a problem for us. If I could get a free puppet off of them, or make them my puppet, that would be lovely. But I doubt that'll happen. I really doubt it. Hey, but we're making guys now. We're making... Divisions, we actually can defend our border. What, think of that. Defending your borders? What? No. This is very bueno. How many divisions do they have? Definitely more than me. Definitely more. Let's go and do this. Thank you. Oh, plant cultivation. Very good. Engineering. Not when we have this to do. Washington Brotherhood and the cause. Do they have a, I don't think they have a focus tree. Oops, my bad. The cause are looking pretty big. Looking pretty darn big. Led by Abel. And not really, no. Maybe someday, but we don't know that much about them. I just need at least one more division to help defend the border if we go to war with them. That would not be very good, though. Hmm. Dry reams, nothing there, nothing there. Wow, it's almost like we have this already done. We do have heavy weaponry stuff? Yeah, you already have it. You actually already have everything you really need. Huh, basic tools. Great. Thank you. And we shall go ahead and do what? Uh, hmm, sales? Well, you can't go wrong with doggos. That's always a good thing to do. Now, Klamath. What can we do? I'm really interested in what we can do with Klamath. Maybe make a trade agreement? Maybe, maybe not. Get some re resistors. I love those things. So much political power already. It's so much. I love it. Followers, influence. How many people do we produce a month? Six? Oh, that's not bad, but... Could be better. We're still mobilizing, which I love, love, love. And the Klamath question. Klamath is our neighbor to the west, a city that is likely to get absorbed by the NCR or New Reno. Most likely New Reno, though. The Elder has decided on what we should do with them. 
Occupy Medford in exchange for a guarantee. Wait. I can just take that? I get a core of that for free? Take both? Oh, we split them up with New Reno. Guarantee the independence? Nah. It's none of our business. Okay, right, Klamath isn't long for this world. We'll occupy them before I get them completely. I don't get a core of them, but I get them? I guess... Hmm. Medford and Klamath. I get this and this, and get these provinces. You know, with how much army XP we're getting right now, or how much political power, I, I am, I am selfish. I'm absolutely selfish. That is disgusting. This is just, oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so amazing. Now, we can wait a little bit longer to, to go to war with uh, the Apostles, since we're really not ready to go to war with them. So, let's build ourselves up first. Uh, regardless if we choose infantry or robots, I still want power armor. I mean, I've got to go power armor, so it just... It's a thing i got to do. Energy, weapons, ballistics... Like I said, I don't, I'm not really sure which one would be better. But let's get some power armor forces. Now that the Arroyo have begun the creation of an elite army, it's time to ensure that we have the best of the best. The obvious answer is to equip them in the best armor we can. Equippy them. Okay, cool. Awesome. Just, you know... Just... Amazing. You know what? I'm glad I'm researching dogs, because we're going to need some doggos for this. And even though we don't get cores... Look at it. we got more factories. We've got more resources. Sure, we can't use them all right now. And this might piss off some people down the line. I love it. I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, good. Uh, you might as well get that, since we have a little bonus to that already. Hmm. Now what do we do here? Military High Command... Recon, division, attack, oh my. Dogs. I've, I'm going to use dogs. I mean, when you have bonuses like that for dogs, you got to get some fuzzy buddies next to you. Like what I have right next to me here. I have my cat Binky sleeping on my chair, being a beautiful animal, and we just got more stability. And now over to political power day. Jesus Christ, Mr. Mocha Lover, what's wrong with you? I'm an addict. I'm a political power addict. I love power. I can't, I'm not going to deny that. Power is a great thing. Now we, we might be making too many of these. You know what? I might make some robots now. You know what? We might have both at the same time for a while. Even though we really need more uh, generators. So what are we building? We're building some of that. So we'll mostly build infantry for now. And then maybe build some robots. I don't know. Regardless, in the long term, we're going to use robots potentially as garrisons anyways. Because they're usually pretty good. So... Uh, sure. It's only 10. Demilitarization. Son, you're lucky you're here and we haven't blasted you already. Besides, using robots early game can be really worth it. Really worth it. Good. Expand the army. Train the soldiers. Veil bandits have joined the fan Phantasma Cartel. Now we can probably make these guys bigger. Cool. Now we can make our infantry bigger, but I'm not going to do that right now. I might save up my army XP so we can get some doggos on there. Cool. Ah, power armored forces. Now we got power armor. Doing this right now would be okay, but we can wait because we can't really make them yet. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and get some civilian factories, Arroyo Goods. We have a solid base of technicians in Arroyo that we can now refocus towards producing goods. I love goods. Oh, oh, wait, hold, hold the phone. How did we just get, what? What? Now we have power armor? Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm glad I'm playing a royal. I really am. Sulik. Yeah, you're going to be inspirational. Uh, you might as well do that. Cool. Anything else? No, no. Hmm. We can't go up there yet since we don't have enough political power, but that's fine. We don't really need that yet. Honest speaker. I like the war support. But I'm going for the population thing right now. Hmm. So be it. Alright, so look at occupied territory so far. Oh, wait. We want to switch this up to pacification. Oh, and there goes my manpower. Hey, at least we're still mobilizing. A little bit. That's good. Pacify the area. Put them down. And we don't have enough guns. There you go. 
Now we will have enough guns. I need far less energy doing so. Yeah, wow, that was really fast. Yeah, expected. Speed? Yeah, I don't really care about speed right now. Get some motorized flight. Train mongrels? Mmm. Yum. Like, oh, yum. Good. Uh, let's go and grab one of these. Uh, never mind. That's too far ahead of time. We're already doing that. Anything up here? Not really. Conversion speed? Sure, that's fine. Alright, so we need to get that to that little point there where resistance is... De How did I just get 200 support equipment? Okay, I'm not going to question that. I like that. Vacuum tubes. Very good, very good. Oh, royal goods. Oh, our manpower look, doesn't look very good. <laughs> but that's okay. Klamath was worth it. Look at all that. Just mm, yummy. Civilian so factories. Water sources. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's see. Composite materials. Establish a navy. That could be pretty good to develop a bigger navy. Oh, is that standard equipment? Oh, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Efficient training. Which is okay. Experience soldiers' losses. Lost supply consumption. Reinforced constant attack. Plus 25% reinforced. Oh my gosh. That's really good. But we're going to go ahead and do outer royal production. While industry is propping up in a royal every day, we should encourage some of our small settlements to follow suit. Yes, two more civilian factories. It's not much, but it is a worthy goal. Cool, and we are pretty much out of manpower. Oh, buddy boy. That ain't good. Come on, keep increasing this. It's 0.2 every day. Not bad, not bad. Let's get some doggos so we can put the people down a little bit faster. So we can get this down a little bit further. Local supplies. Yeah, make sure that doesn't happen. Good. The resistance is slowly increasing. It might be a very good idea to... Oh, actually get that. Is this is currently active? Good. Required garrisons is a little bit further down. How about damage do garrisons go down for now? It's not much. It's only 15%. But it'll help. It'll definitely help. A little bit. Less losses is always a good thing. Flexible designs. Good. Smoke signals. Uh, we can probably grab that for now. Let's go ahead and grab this. Continue to expand our army. Outer of Royal Production. Now, let us grab a city of industry. Now that we have manufacturing set up across a royal, new technicians from our neighbors are being attracted to the workshops in a royal. We can take advantage of this to further expand. Yes. We need a large army, a massive army. Go ahead and put that out of commission because we need that manpower right now. Is it just manpower or manpower on guns? Oh, it's just guns. Which, the need that we need for guns is going down down which is a good thing which is a very very good thing as we get more compliance once we get enough compliance then we'll need then we'll need even less garrisons which will be amazing so it's kind of a slow start with the royal you can't really do much i mean we did stuff with klamath which we ate them up and had a really good time with them hopefully no one is going to bother us as we took klamath that wouldn't be very good for us deco signals very good let's grab this one let the time go on continue building up Actually, we already have 10 divisions. That's pretty good. A city of industry. And I keep double-checking this. But, let's see. Electronics workshops. That's cool. Oh, construction speed is something I would really like. We could do power stations, but it's not mandatory yet. So, a royal city rail. If we want a royal to be a beacon of the wasteland, we need to build public transport like an electric rail for the growing city to connect its industry and population. Absolutely. So we get three more infrastructure here, so we get more supplies, or more resources, really, which is a great thing. Right now, guns, we're almost out of our deficit of guns. Well, for uh, that one group. Doggos, thank you very much. You are very important. Motorized flight. Drop my attackers. Uh, I think I'm going to use bombers in this campaign. I'll try bombers out. Try them out again. Very good, very good. Oh, we got some more. Oh, I'm going to raise my conscription level next. Definitely good to do that. Actually, construction speed. We're doing okay. It's already 2276, so it's been about a year so far. Not bad, not bad. Look at that army XP. It's doing pretty well, especially with these army exercises. They're going fairly decently. Over two. Jesus, that's, that's just so much. That's so much. I love it. 
Arroyo Railroads and Outer Arroyo. It's now incredibly efficient and easy to get around in Arroyo. But if we want to grow the outskirts, we need to be connected with roads and their own limited rail systems. Absolutely. And let's go ahead and increase this. Yes, even more population. Everyone shall serve the Chosen One. Look at that. Expansion is to Royal. That looks kind of cool. Vault 13 with chains around it. Yes, please. Encoded signals. Oh, we can't do that yet. Cool. We might as well do that too. Research, research, research. Help settlements. Give me more factories. Give me more of everything. Research speed. More water could be nice. How much water do we have? We got enough water for now. For now. Oh, that's how we got it. Oh, I thought it was medical equipment that we got. Or supply bonus or something like that. Crop rotation. White legs. Timekeepers. More construction speed. We actually have some of this. Great. We actually have some, a little bit of manpower now. Good. Keep that high. Roads in Outer Arroyo. Roads to the Maw. Thanks to the Outer Arroyo's control stretches to the Maw. But there is not sufficient transportation between there and Arroyo. Correcting this with road repairs or rails should be a priority. Wow, we get a lot of infrastructure. I love it. But, you know what? That's probably where we're going to leave today's episode. Let me know in the comments below. Infantry, robots. Which one should I emphasize for now? But, regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we have seen the Seraph Lords come about and have risen from the ground. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.